Okay, uh, wrapping up here with the uh, binomial distribution, I uh, want to review this problem one more time here. On this problem, there was three out of four dentists recommended Trident to their patients. From a sample of 50 dentists, what is the probability that at least 60% of them will recommend Trident to their patients that chew gum? Again, the N was 50, and the P was three out of four, three out of four, which is 0.75, and that makes the Q one out of four, or 0.25. Now, here with the X, X again was the uh, lower number of successes, and we wanted at least 60% of them, 60% of the 50, which is 0.6 times 50. Well, we could do this on a regular calculator, 0.6 times 50 to get the 30, or on the Excel sheet itself, to do calculations in the white cells, like for right here where we have the 30, if I wanted to let Excel do the calculations, with Excel, what you do is type the equals first for it to do the calculation. So if I wanted to do 0.6 times 50 here, I would first type in equals and then type in 0.6 times, which is shift with the 8, the asterisk, 50. So I would type this right into this cell. You have to type the equals first. And what it will do is give you the 30 right there. And then here we typed in the 3 fourths and we got the answer here. So the probability that at least um, 60% of the 50 dentists would recommend Trident is a 99.3737% chance. Okay, um, going on here, the last part of section 4.2, which is the last section on the chapter 3.4 test, is on expected value, which is the mean of a binomial distribution, and that can be calculated by just taking n times p and also the variance and standard deviation of a binomial distribution. The variance of a binomial distribution is calculated by just taking n times p times q, and the standard deviation of a binomial distribution can be, take, be calculated by just taking the square root of this value right here, n times p times q. Now, the mean is the average amount. So, for example, I don't know if I have any examples here, but we can do earlier examples. Where we wanted to find out, uh, for example, the 10 coins, if you flip 10 coins, um, where the probability of uh, landing uh, heads on a coin was 0.5, if we want to know what, how many would we expect of these 10 coins to land heads, right here is the expected value. The X and Y are not needed in that formula because the formula for expected value was just N times P. And 10 times 0.5 is 5. The variance is right down here. 2.5, and again, that's just calculated by taking um, n, the, the 10, times the 0.5, times the q, which was also 0.5, and that gives you 2.5, and the standard deviation is the square root of your variance, and that's 1.58. Um, standard deviation is really just a measure of how spread out your distribution is, and we'll get into that more when we do uh, chapter 2, but at this point, is just calculating these values and that's done automatically for you in the Excel sheet right here. Like with the dentist problem, we had 50 dentists and it really doesn't matter the X and Y value does not matter at all when you're calculating expected value, standard deviation, or variance. So all that matters was the probability and the probability that a dentist recommends Trident was 3 out of 4 and once I put that in there I have my mean where my expected value is 37.5, so we would expect 37.5 of the dentists to um, recommend Trident. And that may seemed, seem odd that you have a f uh, fraction here, 37 and a half dentists, but really you can think of it in terms of an average. If you sampled 50 dentists over and over and over again, on average, 37 and a half of them would recommend Trident. Your standard deviation is 3.06, and your variance is 9.375. And really, that's all there is to the rest of section 4.2 right there.